damn it, Regis! Regis! Uh, why did we kill him? Hard leather. Alright, if I'm gonna make my armor, I gotta start looting everything. Purchasing brief. Key to a house. I need scraps. I need to make my Ursuline armor. Or woven armor, actually. We must allow the Witcher to ply his trade. Yes! Allow the Witcher to ply his trade. Horse. Hor Horse. Horse. God! Fuck it! I'll walk. Oh. Quest! Hi. Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Oh, right. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn you to Toussaint. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. In the cemetery? I a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations. Might actually be worth looking into. In. Where's he in? We gotta go find Regis, and I want to. Where where is this bar? Oh, next door. Totally different spot. Bar, bar, door, door, door in there. I want to go into this bar. Is this the bar? Hello. Or is this a house? I think this is a house. Which I cannot steal from. Okay, that's fine. Fine. Where is this bar? <laughs> All is in order. I wish you entered this establishment. Here? Nope. Here? Bar? In? I wish to purchase from this individual. Okay, I, I assume maybe it's not uh, a thing. All right, I should. We need we need to talk to Regis. We need to talk to Regis. And it's nighttime anyway, so like they're probably like, what the fuck? Oh, it's 3 a.m. Oh, you're still awake. Good. So. Whoa, a witcher, a serious client at last. Tell me, what do you need? Honeysuckle, Ganesha petals. Is business okay? How's business? Uh, the coin is good, but just between us, I'm going batty with Baltimore. I know what my customers want before they open their mouths. Bolt men, birch sap. 
latest of all walks, whatever fragrance Duchess Anorietta prefers at the time. If just once somebody would order some poison, eh? Uh, what you got? Show me what you've got in stock. I will... I will order all the things. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, what we got here? Nice. Can be used to change. I will get all of what's this? Perfume. Ah, okay. All the things. You may have all the things. So many things. Alright, um... Spirits, can I sell you anything? Uh... Oh, yeah. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Need that. That, that, that. Die for the alchemist, put the liar, I read that. Um... I don't need it. Alchemy. Um, nope. Gwent! All the money for Gwent. In the mood for a round of Gwent? In, at three in the morning. Let's do this! Ooh, more Skelligan decks. Alright. Uh, I don't need you. Uh, Alright, fine, 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 fine. I, I can deal with this. And you got the end of life. Well, I mean, we'll fix that pretty soon. Okay, nice. Nice. I need card draw. Give me more card draw. Oh, the card draw. Okay, and then we'll do that. And then we'll just put you up there. Two Leos. An extra card for my troubles. Okay. Uh, let's start out. No, not you. Let's start a little slow. get her. I wonder how I win her. Probably from the tournament. Oh. Oh. Okay. We, we can't. We can't. That's not a thing we're not going to have. There we go. Great. A berserker. Are you going to turn it into a bear? Is it going to be a bar? Jennifer. Of course. Alright, two cards for you, that's fine. Um, put you down. It's only a five. What? Screw you. Emerin. Alright, cool. What does he... Oh, he turns fuckers into things. Okay. Uh, nope, not the end of the line yet. Uh, I'm way ahead. Ooh, nice. Now it's gonna turn into a bear. It's now a bear. Ooh. 
anything else? Another bear. Oh wow, Jesus. I mean, thankfully I have more cards than he does. What? Oh right, he's a siege guy. Alright. Alright, well, we'll do this. And I think that's it. Alchemist. Alright. Gotta start collecting more herbage. Alright, let's go talk to Regis. Ah! Ooh, nose board, nose board, nose board. Need the nose board. What's up? Take it all. Lax and the V. Might be worth looking into. It is. It is. It is. Oof. It sucks. Nice tune. Watch where you step, fool. Ooh. Wait. Oof. Will you play Gwent with me? The exhibition of the Reginald Dobry monuments will remain closed until no further notice. Why? Closed? Why we wrote? Please right. disperse. The exhibition is closed. Why? Why is it closed? Tell me! What's this about? Oh, Lapiota, give me strength. I can't bear this, please! I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. Bye. Oh, wait! Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. The matter is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? The statue. Just tell me what's the problem. A picture's worth a thousand words. More, I dare say. Come with me. I'll show you. Is the statue alive? Is it a monster? Is it cursed? Is it a naked? Here it is. Our pride and joy, Reginald Dobry. A giant among lovers, a poking puncturing swordsman, and atop all that, an unrivaled titler of harps and other words. Uh huh. So what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. Oh. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. No ordinary statue, mind you. The sole monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's <sighs> own genitals. Certified and authenticated. Oh, God. Sprung directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. Oh, my God. Only by a ticket, that is. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Are you... Tell me what you know. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed already. In particular, Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Literally and metaphorically. I see. He later made frequent use of them himself. Not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. I see. Any suspects? Got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, everyone's a suspect. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who would not want it for himself? When did they disappear? 
Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been mere hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. Alright, I'll, like, I'll look around for clues. Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones. Without them, Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Dude, trying I... Trying times. I might be straight. It must. But Geralt is, like, super straight. I don't think he wants it. Well, he's... he's He's probably secure enough with his masculinity. All right, so let's Why take it. Don't worry. You shall be holy. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision castration, I'd call this. Dried blood stain. Okay. Um, anything down here? It will all work out. It must. Okay, nothing there. Um, oh, what do we have here? A piece of coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Nice. What was that? Diamond saw blade. Perpetrator's tool. Alright. And, nope, oh, down. That way, nope. That way. Nope. Which way? This way? This way. This way. Oh, Sorry. Have uh, depends. Alright. Uh, going this way. Wait, wait. This way? Up. Oh. That way. Uh, Sorry. My bad. Do you know the colors I would see on the left? I love you. Wait, who? What? Where? Okay. Uh, this way. Oh, going that way now? Hmm. Stairs. Sound leads to this door. Oh no. Fuck. Oh my god. Why? Uh, I, uh, god damn it. <laughs> Oop. Sorry to interrupt, I guess. This, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, uh, tumbled, then landed where she already lay. Uh-huh. Psst! Shoes! That's not him! I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. What? <sighs> That's not my husband. You mean, not... not your husband? Nope. Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! I wanna talk! Calm down. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to kick things off. You're in great form for a man your age. <clears throat> I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves a body wonderfully. Uh-huh. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobry, his statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. Yeah. I... Uh... I can explain everything. Um, this. Rosalinda, I know you're in there. You and that fancy pants of yours. Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue. Prepare for a shellacking skeleton. What the love's this? Ah. Uh... Rosalinda, 
One I could forgive you, but two at once. No, no, no. Wait, got nothing to I, do with I got this. nothing to do with this. Take me for a fool. I'll teach you to fish in another man's pond. Go home. I got no time for this. Go home. Yes. That'll be best. I I'm done here. I don't know you, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. I thank you for saving my skin. Testicles now. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalinda, my dove, please allow us a moment. All right. I admit, I stole the stones. And you will never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I will three times and count. Three times? Impressive. That's very impressive. Isn't it? At my age, that's more than the entire last decade. All the same, you stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps we might strike a deal. I saved your life, hmm? dude. Let me keep the stones. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They, they've made me young again. How about if I lend them to you? Perhaps I, I could lend them to you for one more day. What would you say to that? A day is three more rumps at the least. You've a deal, sir. <sighs> Alright, I am going to meditate. I don't want to hear this. I don't, don't want to hear this. Don't want to hear this. I don't, I don't want to listen to this. I don't need to listen to this. Hey. All right. Are we done? Give them back. I'm back. Shh, shh. Not so loud. You wake her. She won't let her go. Wake who? Rosalinda. Louisa, her cousin. <laughs> she's she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. But I'm tapped out. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? My heart near leapt out of my chest last time. Here, you must take the testes. And let the elder grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> I got Witcher stamina. I I don't think I need it's quick. Where bellies are pinched so tight. Folk don't drink wine. Distilling instead of oh, the witcher. The one that took Kessa yeah, um, I'm going to go b give these back now. Oh, are you the same guy? Yep, you're the same guy. Never mind. Go in now. Hop. They say Ow. Wait. Sorry. Wanna buy things first. Okay, never mind. Don't wanna buy things. Uh up. Up, 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 up. Oh, there you are. Sorry. What's up? Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep. Yep, got them back. 
Slippy hunter slushes lips. It's them. It's really them. I hope this mortis reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. It's fine. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Thanks. Um, good. All right. Um, first of all, I need to put that crossbow on. Probably sell that for parts or monies. Um, yeah, I gotta start picking up everything. Out. Oh, we gotta do that from our some bonus gold. All right, so quests. Meet Reginald, Witcher kind, big game hunter. Ooh, how about I need? Ooh, oh, snap! Snap! Okay, we got shit. Investigate the Lyle and hey, give me. All right, I'll help him. I'll help him. I promise. All right, let's get out of here. Maybe I should go see Reginald first. Anything I can pick here? Nope. I mean, maybe I should say Regis first. Yeah, let's go see Regis first. Let's go. Do 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 Smith Smith do Smith do Smith do 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 Mind you, it's no monster hunt, but I'm sure you'll be interested all the same. I'm an armorer, see, and I for years sought diagrams for witch armor of exceptional quality. Grandmaster. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Heard of them. Never seen any, though. Thought they were lost. Not quite. For I've been lucky enough to learn that their holders came to Tucson. Alas, they then perished, but I know where. I just need a partner to help me retrieve them. If you know where to look, why not get them yourself? No offense, but do I look like a rough hewn adventurer? Besides, who would serve my clients while I romped about seeking them? No, I'd rather leave it to someone familiar with such matters. Bring me the diagrams, and from them I'll forge for you whatever you fancy. What do you have on offer? All right, let's see. Uh, can I sell anything? Nope. Um. Oh, what's this? Ooh, ooh. Okay. Um. Seeing if there are any blinders that are good. Doesn't look like it. It looks like I got the best stuff. So. This one's a grapevine saddle, so that's plus 15, that's plus 15, plus 15, plus 15, plus 15. Alright, so I can, I can, um, I can make it, I like purple, I really like purple, so I'll get that. And what about these bags? Oh, yep, those bags will work too. And anything that, any craft me stuff. Um, I think I'm going for woven, right? Uh, Ursline, woven. Do I have enhanced woven ready to go? Okay, so I just need woven boots. Can you make me the woven boots? Yep. Alright, craft that item. Oh. Now craft the item. Alright, now I need the enhanced stuff. Enhanced woven. I I just made those. I I literally just made the the I 
Did I not make God fuck hold on. Um Would you craft something of course? Pear. Alright, crafting. Did I not fine. Woven boots. Okay. Woven, 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 woven. Alright, enhanced. Superior. Superior boots. Yay. Now, chest armor. Did I make the woven chest armor yet? Woven, 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 woven. Woven armor. Shirt. Two things. One, two, three, four, five. And then enhanced. One, two, three. And then superior. I'm running out of money. Not enough qu Fuck. Can I make the iridium plate? Uh... Um, caffeine permanent. Durium plate. I should just made it. Why did I keep on curing shit? Fuck. Um. All right. Uh. So. Enhanced. Superior. Did I did I make superior yet? Oh, superior. Right. How did yeah? All these diagrams somehow wound up in Tucson. How is that even possible? Tusa was once home to Tien Sail, a legendary and now deceased elfin master armorer. Witches from all corners of the world came to him to forge their plate, their mail. Heard about him. Supposed to have been the best. And thus he charged the king's ransom for his work. Witches would uh, take difficult, dangerous work to earn the coin to pay him. Some, uh, alas, met with misfortune, and the diagrams they carried were left to rot with their earthly remains. Got it. Find them, find the diagrams. But how can I know where to look for their remains? As it happens, I learned my trade at Jensai's side. So I heard the stories of the missing witches first hand. What he told me, well, that is what discouraged me from seeking the diagrams out myself. We must strike a deal. I shall tell you all I know. In return, once you found the diagrams, you will let me draft a copy. This elven master. How'd he end up taking a human for an apprentice? My father forged armor. As a youngster, I helped him, then began forging my own pieces. Master Tien Sail saw my work and offered to take me on as his apprentice. Only now, years on, do I realize the honor that was. Alas, my master perished in a massacre later, slain by racists. Though he taught me everything he knew, I did not manage to complete the guild's requirements for Grand Master while he lived. I know I have no equal in the trade. Yet, uh, until I complete Witcher armor of Grand Master quality, I shall never be certain I've become my teacher's equal. All right, I'll do Where it. Do I look for these diagrams. I know of five likely fallen witches, each from a different school of the wolf, griffin, 
Cat, Bear, and Manticore. Which should I start with? Tell me about my brother, the wolf. His name was Atom. I remember him well. My master liked him, helped him find a safe yet well-paid contract. A few years ago, an archaeological expedition arrived in Toussaint from Castel Gropia. They questioned my master about the elfin ruins at Termes. He, he warned them of the danger there and recommended they take Aton as an escort. What kind of danger did he mean? Any idea? Legend claims wraiths haunt the chambers beneath Termes. I cannot say if there is any truth to this, but uh, both the scholars and the Witcher disappeared without a trace. Griffin. The Griffin. What can you tell me about him? He came some 200 years ago, but my master remembered him well. This Witcher was not stripped of emotions, you see, as his colleagues were. He had taken on a contract at Fort Usa and required better gear. He showed my master his diagrams, paid a deposit, and was never seen again. Apparently, he rode off one night from the fort, never to return. Any idea where he went? No. It said he left in a rush, so he may have left something behind. Only ruins remain of Fort Usa, but you may wish to search them. Let's talk about the cat. A year ago, Bartolome de Lornay, the ducal armorer, asked me to confirm the authenticity of a witcher diagram he had received by messenger. You see, at the time he was working on new armor for the ducal guard. A witcher from the school of the cat offered to sell him diagrams for a full set of gear. The diagrams would have been helpful indeed. The diagram you saw. Was it really a Witcher diagram? Beyond any doubt. It's a shame Delaunay didn't let me draft a copy. He was quite shaken up, afraid the Witcher might simply kill him and take his coin. Possibly a well-founded fear. Soon after, Delaunay disappeared without a trace. I would have searched his former home for clues, but it has fallen into disrepair. And it is simply too dangerous there. Tell me more about the bear, can you? He appeared shortly after Master Tien Sail took me on as his apprentice. I remember the bear head medallion that uh, hung from his neck. I remember a towering witcher who haggled like a fishwife. <laughs> Witchers never have too much coin. True. This one clearly was not wealthy. But he pledged to bring us coin after he completed a contract at the Tufo Vineyard, where a building had just collapsed. Time passed, the bear never showed, and my master sent me to the Tufo estate. As it turned out, the Witcher had indeed accepted a job. Yet that was all they heard of him, and that is all I know. School of the Manticore. Probably know the least about it, though once, long ago, wore some armor forged there. My master said the Manticores have their fortress in the Far East. A century passed, one of their number came to him, a witcher named Merton. He made a poor impression on my master. He stank like a dwarf and still, and uh, quarreled fiercely all the time. Tien Sahil slammed the door in his face and told him to return when he sobered up. He would conduct no business with the drunk. The Witcher, however, failed to return. The folk say he got into a booze-fueled brawl with the Ducal Guard. He was arrested and sentenced. Bastoy Prison, where he was held, well, it's been a ruin for years. 
Still, you may want to start your search there. Farewell. Good luck on the path. Okay, we have a lot of shit to get through. Um, and I have no more money. Milton the Payrock Payron falls victim. Like, literally, no money. Alright, let's see. I think I want to go with medium armor. Viper boots. I made viper boots. Oh, God damn it. Woven. Got to sell that to him. Oh, that and that on the horse. So cowardice! The beast of Beauclair has struck again. Greetings. Uh, let me see what you got. What do you have on? I look like that dude. All right, so let's see. We can sell that. I need some money back, so I'm getting rid of anything that's. Not a greater rune. Uh, nope. Um, I just need the money for now. Lesser rune. Lesser. 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 Lesser, 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 greater, regular, greater, regular, greater, 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 greater. All right. Lesser, lesser. I'll find some. Regular, regular, greater. Sir, goody, I got my my money back. Um, anything you'd want? Oh, right, the bad. What's this do? Five percent for monsters. Five percent for monsters. I can have that. Um, any materials I can s I can give to you? No. All right. Next time I will. Um, I will make my own shit. All right. See ya. Farewell. Good luck on the path. All right. Do I want woven or do I want earth slain? Discounts on purchases of ten or more. Uh, am I invisible? Yes, I don't give a shit about you. All right. Um. All right. So they're treasure hunts. They're forty. Let's go with this. We should talk to Regis. We should talk to Regis. We can. Wood. Can I hear? Another murder by the horrid beast. Milton the Payrock Payron falls victim to his own cowardice. Moving. At least the people this here is. like me. I am the famed this witcher, Duchess's friend. Blah 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 blah. All right, let's go visit this fucker. So we gotta get more coin. So kill everything, sell everything. Oh. It's the name of the game. Excuse me. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. What a day. Fighting in line. Alright. Still can Nope, still can't go fast. I need to kill more bandits. Bandits would be good. I need I need to sell stuff. I need lots of money. Because I want to make all the masterwork here. Why? Because because I can. That that's that's really the only reason actually. So pretty. All right. All right, 
you stupid idiot. Switch it. I have a matter of prime urgency and influence. You're actually pretty Your wound. feeling better. Nice hair. It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant. Though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic and knows no one she could turn to for help. All right. What? Why is she cursed? What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself. I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally. Yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Okay. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase. That time. That time? More than once? I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her. But lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Oh no. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? Yeah, who's her father She's and stuff? her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting. Her father, a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. Oh no. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. Oh god, I'm why? I'm forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice Oh anything. god, why? This tourney, how's it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize, and more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship, and fencing. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet, yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Vivian. Reward. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. V can't be anything ordinary either. I'm no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? I need money. All right. Uh. How about 
hold on. Click, 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 click. 750? Okay? Vivian is worth every copper, but this amount I simply do not have. You ask too much. Fine. Five? I have comrades I can ask. They would surely lend me coin, yet even that would not be enough. Could you not lower your fee somewhat? <sighs> Fifty? Agreed. That is an amount I can indeed muster. Alright, you got me. I got it. Let's do this. I'm interested. Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. I'm Meaning. good. I'm good at things. Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ. Require skills you don't usually apply. Races, above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? All right, let's do it. Target practice. Marksmanship. I feel I need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. I hope my aim's as good as that Cupid who shot you. Hit the red targets. All right, I got this. All right. Um. Wait. Where is? Not too bad with a shot. Once more? Sure. Glad they give it another try. There. Time's better. Once more? Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. All right, let's do that. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. So, I gotta do all this. Alright. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, Yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. What if I just ride? During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Okay. Mounted combat. Hold the attack button to return your slow mod. Hold the aim trigger. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Come on, Roach. I 
I think I like the sword better. I miss that checkpoint. Oh yeah. I think I missed the checkpoint. Whoa there, Roach. That's so have you had enough or do you wish to ride again? I I think I've got it. At. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? Guess we're fighting now. Be nice to swing. Do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best. But now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. The gods have sent a beast as punishment for our sins. Shut up, woman. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh. Spy from Bors. Where have your journeys been, uh. you lost? Hail, Percy. Oh. As you must die. die. One night got mm. stuck in his armor. So then. Stand at the center of the training ground. All right. Will approach and challenge you. All right, hold on. Where's the cat? All right. Uh, stand in the center. You need not ask me twice. I shall eat you like a stuck beast. Oh. Not good. Ow. Ow. All right, run away. Oops. Well, that... I expected you to do well, but not that well. The Witcher! Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Fine. Very kind. Until suddenly she is very un. Nothing special. And drag root. Need the money for to make the armor, blah 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 blah. blah. I hate that woman. Her shriek disturbs me. All right. Let me um, put some new skills into shit first. All right, there we go. Uh oh. Uh e e. All set. Um. Ah. Oh. Fuck. Sure, melt armor. Um. I don't do whirlwind. What's this? Crippling strike. Yeah, let's do that. Um and. Strength training, adrenaline, crushing blow, precise blow. All right, I just need the basic shit. Uh, Splitting shield, point intensity, delusion. Um, I don't have melt armor. All right, that's fine for now. All right, let's construct for tent. Wait. Flowers? Flowers? No. The way to get through the streets will have everyone here. No, 
Turn the turn scribe. And we wish to hire people. Blah, blah, blah. Someone needs an escort. Not something I do often, but might be worth investigating. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Okay. What really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Ooh. Which do you prefer? Ravix of Forhorn? How do you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Talanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. Wow. That's actually right. Impressive. How about... Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches' Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Yeah, those were the days. Kahir and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. I want to join as Geralt. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Oh. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Sure. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Sweet. Convenient. All right. Uh, what are the prizes? Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. I can't talk to him. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Pretty. I like swords. All right, where are these vows? You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. All right. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? 
Hmm. Sure, we'll do that. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. Sign here, please, then fill out these forms. Yes, sir. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor. armor no, 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 I just paid for this armor. <sighs> Shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Okay, I hope I get lots of money from this because I need the money. I feel out of place. Alright, to the shooting range! To the shooting range. 